guys, what's up? Hi, hey. welcome back. Welcome back to our little two-parter. The little two-parter, our double feature. Our double feature, summer that's the tapes. proper. Yeah. Yeah, that's the proper. Summer order, tapes, right? yeah. The summer tapes finale. Finale. Season. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. We've been Summer's here. Summer's been a lot. She's been thriving. Yeah, she's this been is cute, like though. the first cold day, so like this is like the it end. Is. It's, it's a good September. like ending. Yeah. Happy September. But then we're gonna get back into our regular seasons, and we're gonna be like spooky. Oh yes, it's gonna be crispy time. You guys get to listen to all the spooky stories at the spooky time. Yeah, come up with a cute promo. Oh, we do. If you guys we have do. any ideas, send it our way. But yeah, guys, if you have anything, let us know. Your Let's mic's know. working this time. I know. <laughs> Sorry for the last episode, guys. I am not good at technology. So yes. we can hear you like a little bit in this though, so it's yeah. fine. Yeah. So if I'm a little quiet, mm, send You're me my love. <laughs> background noise for me. Yeah. Oh, I can sound like a little mouse just talking. <laughs> Look, I'm the mystery like, mouse. Blah, 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 blah. This is the mystery mouse. Hello. <laughs> um, this is, I wanted to talk about this. This is so weird. So guys, I had a little sleepover with Tiffany. We yeah. recorded my episode last night. I'm recording hers today. But it's just <laughs> so weird because we're recording during the daytime. I know. I was just sitting here thinking it's so weird. It's like bright outside. Yeah. It's like full on like beautiful blue skies. Yeah. Nice autumn kind of day. And we're bringing the darkness. We're like, let's talk about like <laughs> scary stuff on the brightest time. Let's do some like terrifying horror mysteries on this Yeah. Day. Let's make it fun. It's so funny. <laughs> but yeah. So yesterday we talked about La Llorona. We did, and I already forgot. So it's really great. My memory. <laughs> you didn't like... remember the last episode well, I was before like, that? Yeah, we were talking today, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the episode prior to La La Rona." I was I also like, "Double gangers." I forgot to do my spiel on that. Like yesterday, I, was, I forgot to be like, "Oh, last week we talked about that." Well, because that was so long ago. Like mm. we just talked about it today. It was. Haunted films. Haunted films. <laughs> yeah. You forgot again. <laughs> I know, I did. It's so hard for me to, like, go back to it. it. Unless it was, like, it last so week. Hard. But even then, it's still not yeah, great even memory. Then it's, like, a little, like, flow for you. Yeah, We could I be know. doing, like, shows back to back to back all day, and you wouldn't know. Yeah, I'd you be know? like, well, be it, was, okay. it was in the past. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, kind of like, this is fun, like, doing two episodes, like, back to back, getting it them is. out of the way. It's cute. Because I love our little setup here. It's so nice. I know. Nice. It's so very cozy. cozy. Ah! ah! I was going to say cozy, too. <laughs> we have a little Christmas lights up, so yeah. it makes it more festive. I had a large coffee, so I'm, like, ready to go. Mixed with some allergy pills, so wow. I'm, like, in this, like, weird it's state perfect. of, like... That was me yesterday. That's why... <laughs> guys, if you heard me yesterday on the podcast, like, just... Not saying words towards like the forty minute mark. I was losing it. Logan just falling asleep from his allergy medicine. <laughs> I was like ready to fall asleep. I was like, oh, you said La Rona. Uh, la La Rona. La, la Rona. <laughs> it's so good. But this this episode yeah. is all about you. I'm very excited. Oh, she's a beaut. I'm really glad we don't have the same yeah, topic. Yeah, scared at first. It's very different. So I think is we're it okay. supernatural? Am I allowed to know? Is it like paranormal? Uh, or are we going into like a true crime kind of? Territory? I mean, it's sort of supernatural. I'd say it's more like folklore Ooh, than it is come on, like folklore. Whole supernatural, maybe supernatural elements. Yeah, but yeah. I, I've talked about it on the show before, but I've loved that we've done like folklore and like cryptic yeah. cases and stuff. It's just so fun to like kind of not have one specific niche for this yeah it's like it's a fun. bunch of different stuff and i feel like all my precursor to this is i told you last week i think mm. that i'm not sure if i believe in this but okay. i like the idea of it being real okay and i know there's people that are like they're like so into it they believe it full-heartedly yeah. so if i can get convinced one day we'll see but yeah would you like a drum roll to introduce oh my the gosh, case i'd love to all righty all right here we go this week on the summer tapes we present the existence of evil fairies <laughs> <laughs> yeah evil like evil fairies fa fairies fairies we're doing fairies yeah what yeah i know like pixie hollow pixie hollow games yep, yep. like oh my god I know, and I never thought we'd go here. I was watching a YouTube video. If anyone knows of, like, Brittany Broski, oh my YouTuber, God. I guess her mom is, like, super into, like, paranormal, like, fairies. She's like, I've seen some fairies. No, they. she legitimately believes in fairies. Oh, my like, God. Like, and that they, like, torment people, go in people's houses, mess with their things. What? Crazy stuff. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. In the three years we've been doing this show, yeah. even though we don't have those episodes. Huh? Sniffle, In sniffle. the three years we've been doing this, I guess the fairies would have had to come up eventually. Yeah, so I guess I, now's a good a time yeah. of any. Well, because I even said, I was like, I don't think I believe in this. Because I was also getting all these TikToks for some reason on my FYP about people like stepping into fairy rings. 
a whole, we'll get into oh, fairy, fairy rings. rings. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm excited actually. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm sure we'll dive into it, but like my mm-hmm. mom was actually really into uh fairies. May she rest in peace. She's beautiful. Um, but that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we used to do like fairy gardens and stuff. Are Aww. we talking about any of those? That we talk about fairy rings a little bit, Ooh. but we're mostly going to be talking about a lot of like evil types of fairies. So like not cute little gardens that you would set no. up for them. My mom would do that. She would make like little like fairy gardens yeah. like in her backyard and be like, the fairies will come here. See, I like the idea of sweet fairies. There's just some like evil ones just I've evil been reading ones. about, but I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so dark. Oh my God. Like an antagonist of a Tinkerbell movie? Yes. <gasps> also, oh, hey, good idea. you hate Tinkerbell, so yeah, it's I kind do. of funny you're doing evil fairies. Well, I think it's because I just kept getting so many TikToks on my FYP mm. and then I watched this fairy video from Brittany Broski and I was like okay this is really interesting I don't think I believe it but it's just interesting stuff so I was like you know what I'm gonna like put my ego aside and do something I really don't <laughs> know your if I comfort like zone. yeah it's really out of yeah. my comfort zone so I was like I want, yeah I want people to learn about it make thank their God. own opinions so wow. yeah it's good that, yay okay <laughs> I'm actually like I'm really excited to have into this uh, I guess this uh episode is sponsored slash not sponsored by tiktok then it produced yes. this episode for us thank you tiktok <laughs> thank it's you gonna TikTok. be great also i think it's fitting that we're filming it during the day because Aww. it's kind of like i don't know like daytime horror yeah because also, it's fairies i can like go home after this and not be worried some evil fairy at night is gonna like uh curse my bus ride oh they might <laughs> they, they're just gonna follow you and can you wait. imagine i'm like on the bus <laughs> And then it just, like, starts floating in the air because all the fairies are underneath it picking it up. You see, like, a little light flash on the side of your face, and you're like, what is that? It's a fairy. It's good stuff. I'm so excited. All right, so I'll get into my little intro. Okay, let's go. What comes to mind when you think of fairies? Most might think of a beautiful human-like miniature figure with wings of a butterfly. Fairies are not always in this image. They actually have many shapes and sizes. They also carry different meanings. Fairies have been around for ages, appearing in many stories, myths, and legends, originating mainly from European folklore. Fairies are often associated with plants in springtime, depicted as pure figures who possess magical powers. So in the tales of fairies, there are more often than not mischievous creatures with dark and evil intentions. <laughs> and that's what we like to hear on the Mystery Files. A little Machines. evil. It's given like a evil leprechaun kind of yes! vibes at the same time. Oh my gosh, I love the movie Leprechaun. Good stuff. So uh, the Latin root word for fairy is fae, meaning fate. Uh, this could signify the purpose of fairies within myths. Fairies and stories are constantly messing with the fates of humans. Fairies in this myths may be of the more cartoonish variety and simply signify love, magic, and springtime. But most um, signify things like death, abduction, and general immortality. Oh my so God. Like, there's, there's a lot like more. There's like fairies that are like based on that. Yeah. Oh wow. There's a lot of different fairies. Like we'll get into like different types and there's even more than I explained. There's so many different types of fairies. Can you imagine in like the Tinkerbell movies or something? You know how it's like <laughs> Earth like no, not Earth. There's like the four seasons. It's like, oh yeah. the winter one, the fall one, the summer and spring one. Well and there's one that's like death. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then the fifth land, death. <laughs> you know, I think it, I would actually be interested in seeing a dark like fairy movie. There's death enough. Death to all of them. Death to all of them. <laughs> they have accents. Death to all of them. It's so good. So, um, the exhibition looks at representation of fairies with an art of many different mediums and time periods. So there's, like, different things you can look up that have, like, fairy, fairies through time and, like, different types of fairies. So, yeah, it's really fun. So Also, I'm, like, surprised I didn't put this together because we, to make sure <laughs> we weren't doing the same episode, I asked her to tell me the first letter of it and mm-hmm. you said F. Did not even think about it being fairies. Yeah, what did you think it was when I said F? I don't know. I just, I kind of brushed it off. I was like, okay. <laughs> did you think it was Fred Johnson? I said, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be in this episode because it's a double feature. Yeah, it's a double feature. We have to have recurring I thought, themes. Like, I mean, I saw this already, but first thing, you know, I was like, it's Foghorn Leghorn from the Looney <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not that. That's <laughs> crazy. Insane. But yeah, so for this, we're going to soon learn the fairies and stories depicted here are going to become darker and darker. So like the more we get into it, the darker the ideas become. So just hold on for the ride. So is it a lot of like mini stories that kind of gigs? Um, It's a lot of just 
um, different types of fairies and the dark things Ooh. they do. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. I'm yeah, nervous. so it's just different things through folklore, like different stories and everything. Guys, so. at the end of the podcast, tag yourself which evil fairy you oh are. Oh my gosh, wait, that's a cute idea. It's like one of those old <laughs> Facebook posts. It's like, tag yourself like which so person you are. So the zodiac signs, which, yeah. what do you, I don't care about your zodiac sign. What, uh, yeah, what kind of what, fairy are you? What kind of evil fairy are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to choose at the end. We'll figure out which one yeah, we are. That. So first we're going to get into the idea of fairy rings just to establish some different things. Some One of the most common and well-known areas for fairies to reside are in fairy rings. So fairy rings, which are also known as elf rings or pixie rings, are naturally occurring circles made up of mushrooms that you'd find in like a forest. So the mushrooms grow out of the ground in a circle shape, and some are smaller in size, while others can grow up to 600 meters in diameter, so they can get like big. Whoa, that's huge. So, I didn't know that. I thought they were only like small patches. Mm -hmm. They can get wow. large and in charge. So fairy rings are caused by an individual fungus growing underground. So the fungus sprouts lots of small threads called mycelium. I think I said that Ooh, wrong. I know. Heck come yeah. on, scientists. Come on, scientists. So it goes in like a circular shape. So a year later, the mushroom pops out of the ground at the edge of the circle, creating the fairy ring. So the circle will start off small in size, getting bigger as it gets older. So that's kind of the how it grows. So fairy rings are most commonly found in woodland and grassy areas, and the best time of year is to go late summer to early autumn. So we could probably find one now if we <gasps> wanted to. Oh my god, we could go hunting for fairies yeah. after this. I'll get my fishing net. Let's go. And it says also more likely to appear after wet weather, and it just poured <gasps> for how long. So Stop. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, fairy ring hunting. What if we take a picture with a fairy and we put it on the Instagram like, here's our episode <laughs> we about found fairies. It. <laughs> we found it. We found a fairy. Angry. Afraid oh. to punish us. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you're supposed to mess with fairy rings. Oh my god. And we'll get into yeah. why. Ooh. Because if you step into it, good luck, Charlie. I don't know if you're gonna dive into this at all, like with the mm -hmm. fairy rings, but isn't it uh a thing that fairy rings also could be like teleportation devices as well? Yeah, there's like different Ooh, things. Yeah. Like if you step into it. I think that's so cool though, mm -hmm. though. Like you can teleport with a fairy ring. I'd be scared. Oh I don't know. I don't wanna know what I'd see. I used to <laughs> if play uh it. This is off topic, but I used to play this game called RuneScape. Oh. Sure, people have heard of it. It's like a mm -hmm. role playing game, mm -hmm. and they used to have like fairy rings in it. And you, if you like stepped into them, and like you, uh, like you could like teleport to different places. That them. sounds fun. Were yeah. they like scary places or just like worlds? just anywhere? Like if there was like a fairy ring in like one neighborhood, and there was one in another, you could like step into it, and they would like teleport you. Oh wait, that's cute. Yeah, it was that really should be cute. real. Let's get these fairy rings to do that for us. Thanks, fairy rings. Honestly, I could use a fairy ring to get around. I know. It'd be kind of amazing. We'll just make our own. We can just plant some grass in here. I don't have here. to take the bus. Just yeah. take a fairy ring. Make one in your apartment. And then one here so I can get here That's for so the show. Cute. That's so wholesome. Oh, we let's gotta, make a fairy let's ring. Let's befriend some fairies so they can help us grow some stuff in here. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> and then we make a mad. Like, sorry, uh, right. we just really wanted to, the, to save the 20 minute ride yeah we're trying to be kind to each other god forbid <laughs> so um different countries across europe have their own folklore tales about fairy rings so in english and celtic folklore fairy rings were caused by fairies or elves dancing in a circle it's to believe so <laughs> elves freak me out too that's a whole other ordeal <laughs> to deal with elves so you're scared of fairies, elves, elves. leprechauns. Yeah, gnomes. I have like, a little gnome on my desk. <laughs> gnomes. I just feel like certain things. I'm like, oh, how do you where? So um, it was said that if humans joined in the dance, they would be punished by the fairies oh and made God. to dance in the ring until they passed out from exhaustion or <gasps> like some a people died. Like kind of deal. Yeah. Oh, no. Or it also reminds me of like, what was that uh, dancing plague? What if people were just in fairy the dancing rings? Plague. Oh, what a, what a callback. The dancing plague of 18... 12? That sounds right. That yep. sounds right. Math. Years. <laughs> but what if they would just stepped in the dancing, the fairy ring, and the fairies oh, made them wow. dance until they died or passed out? Yeah. Oh my god. It's likely. I don't know. Whoa. So, then in German folklore, things took a more sinister turn as fairy rings were actually known as witches' rings. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was believed that... Um, this was the place where witches would dance on Walpurgis Night, a spring celebration taking place exactly six months after Halloween. So it's exact. more ritualistic So it's stuff. like their, uh, their version of Christmas in July. <laughs> oh, wait, that's cute. <laughs> that I'm sad we missed cute. it. Aww. Next year for sure. Next year we'll go. Next year. And then um, in Austrian mythology, dragons were to blame for the appearance of fairy rings. So it was said they, they burned them. Of course they were. So it was said that they burned them into the forest with their fiery tails. Oh my god. So there's some different origin stories of Miss Fairy Rings. So 
Um, there are a lot more mythical stories surrounding fairy rings. Some cultures believe there are portals to another world, yeah. so you're on the right track with your teleportation. Um, while others say that the mushrooms are simply used as dinner tables for fairies, <laughs> which that sounds like something out of Tinkerbell, like the yeah, dinner they'd tables. Yeah, use them as a little table. That's cute, though. Uh, did you ever, this is so random, but do you know how, like, they put those little, like, uh, white uh, circles and pizzas in the middle? Oh, yeah. Did you ever, like, think they were, like, little, like, little tables, tables for fairies? Yes! Yeah. That's so cute. They're so cute. Or I, I always, people... like, imagine myself shrunk down, like, yeah, <laughs> so, cute. so cute. I love it the most. I think I know a few people have used those as like actual tables for fairy gardens. So oh. they'd be like perfect sitting. That's so wholesome. That's so you have to get tiny chairs. Aww. They can't sit on the ground. That's exactly. disrespectful to your guests. So um, there's also the belief that they bring good luck and that they are a sign of a fairy village underground. Ooh. So, Which is also a fun idea, thinking there's chilling underground. And then another folklore story is that you should never step into a fairy ring as you may become invisible or become trapped there forever. Oh my god. So that's really dark. But that's like kind of the main gist of like fairy rings. But also I had read about and like watched videos about mm. people who had stepped in fairy rings. And then what? basically the fairies would like follow them home and like torment them. Oh my god. Like mess with their stuff, bring them like bad stepping luck. stepping on their land and like makes them yeah. mad. So they mess with your land. Yeah, like they would like come to your house and like... Say you set your keys somewhere, they would, like, hide your keys, and, like, wow. all your lost items would basically be a result of the fairies just messing with you. Oh, so I wonder if there's people who've, like, walked into fairy rings and just had, like, awful bad luck and just yeah. didn't realize they walked into fairy ring. Like, mm -hmm. if you're just walking through the forest and you see a mushroom, you're like, whatever. You're like, ah, why is there like, so many in fun. the circle? Whoa. Yeah. So, like, they're known to, like, bring bad luck. So that's, like, the main thing of the fairy rings. But now we're going to get into the different types of fairies and, like, Ooh. the creepy fairy stories. So, yes. hold on for the ride home slices. So, this first story is about the idea of a type of fairy that steals and enchants brides. Brides? Brides, like, I just got married brides. Oh, okay. Yeah, so hold on. So, on the subject. <laughs> I know, I know. They're going to get me when I get married. Heck no. So, there's a subject of abduction, so the fairies often stole young women as brides, or perhaps the other less honorable purposes. So, in the aptly named tale called Stolen Bride, a gang of fairies carries off a young woman and something similar happens in a different story. These are like different stories oh. of fairy stuff. This one's called Jamie Freel and the Young Lady. Ooh. So, in both cases of these different stories, the women are put under an enchantment that leaves them mute and confused. Oh. So, being noble does nothing to protect a woman, especially if the king of fairies takes a shine to you, as in the story of uh, Ethna and the Bride. <laughs> so, I guess if you're, like, one of the people that the king of fairies is, like, obsessed with, like, it's bad. The king of fairies is like, I like ya. you. Better, I like you the most. I, I want to marry you. <laughs> like, I'm going to make you all confused and make you oh not talk God. or hear anything. Wait, like... What if there was never actually any runaway brides? What if they were all just, like, uh, abducted by fairies? Because, you know, there's all those stories of runaway brides. What if they're just, like, confused? <laughs> Can you imagine? You? That's crazy. Like, every runaway bride is just a uh, <laughs> wife to the fairy king or something like I am, that. I am only wife oh to the fairy God. king. I serve the fairy king. Can you imagine, like, at your wedding, like, you're about to, like, <laughs> say your vows, and then you're just like, I have to go. I have to go meet I the fairy king. I, I'm listen, if I was at your wedding and that would happen, I would just start cackling. I <laughs> you would go, be I full on it. laughter. <laughs> like, I, everyone else would be like, oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with her. I would just be laughing. You go, I knew it. Well, imagine <laughs> I'm just, like, up there to give my vows, and then I just, like, go into a trance, and I'm like, I you're, must go to the like, fairy king. You just, like, close your eyes and open them, and you're just, like, flying away. Yeah, I walk towards, <laughs> I walk out, like, a window into, like, a grassy knoll, and I'm like, this is my time. <laughs> everyone's like i don't know what got into her and i'm like come I on do. guys have you ever heard of the fairy king like, like i'm just like super clearly... pessimistic about him like guys it's whatever <laughs> because it's literally the fairy king yeah. i do the same thing you can go visit her it's fine she's just under his spell basically she yeah. can't talk she's confused but it's fine uh, so <laughs> your, your, your man benjamin is like logan what's going on i don't understand like and i'm fairy like king. I'm like, the fairy king took her. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Open your eyes. <laughs> open your eyes to what's clearly been happening here. That's so funny. <laughs> the fairies gather around, like, See, the chapel, <laughs> and they're like, we have been waiting for this. Can you imagine for, like, an actual wedding, though? If, like, <laughs> someone's hurt, someone's listening to this podcast episode, and they don't want to get married, and they're like, wait, that's a good excuse. That's a and really good excuse. <laughs> what if we cause a runaway bride situation? Okay, this is how it goes, guys, okay? You get up, and then you just don't say anything. 
keep your eyes wide open, walk straight out the door, yeah. don't say nothing to nobody, and just Listen. walk into the forest. Listen, what I've learned is if you're confident, no one stops you. They don't stop you if you know what you're yeah. doing. If you act like you know what you're doing, you yeah. just walk out. They'll be like, all right, See, I don't, respect No it. one can chase after you because you're not. You're going to be mute. You yeah. can't talk. You're confused. And they'll think you're just going to the bathroom or something. Yeah. And then as soon as you walk through the doors and they're shut, you can bolt for it. Yeah, drive <laughs> off into the forest with the fairy king. It's Make fine. sure you schedule the Lyft or Uber to pick you up immediately. Yeah. Like, you'll be good to go. You'll be fine. No one will ask any questions because you won't be able to talk for the rest of your life. You're fine. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Safety first. But also, I don't know if we're going to get into, like, the stuff with the <laughs> other fairy stuff, but that also kind of reminds me of the Labyrinth movie a little bit. Yes, yes, like, yes. kind of the whole idea of, like, snatching people up and, like, there's fairies and, like, mm-hmm. gnomes and things, like, controlling them with, like, a... Yeah. What is it? Isn't he, like, a David Bowie's, like, a troll king in it or something? I think so. I've only seen the movie, like, twice in my entire life. It's so good. It is. The Labyrinth is such a good movie. That's one of the movies Benjamin and I watched at the drive-in, too. Really? Yeah. Oh We're just talking goodness. about the drive-in movies today for some reason. Gee, maybe I'll talk but. about Troll King at some point. You're writing down all the episodes you're yeah. doing in the future. <laughs> I have, like, my next concept starting. I'm like, that's good, that's good, right? <laughs> you said, that's the one, that's the one. <laughs> well, just know that I'll forget it by the time it happens, so yeah. you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> So, back to the case. So, this other story is about um, different fairies stealing new mothers to serve as nursemaids. Oh, my God. So, there's some pretty dark stuff in here. So, having children also makes a woman vulnerable to fairy abduction. So, fairies will steal mothers directly from their childbed and often leave a doppelganger in their place. Oh, my God. Back to doppelgangers. I know. That's crazy. That's kind of creepy, Wait, actually. I'm sad we didn't get to talk about that with the doppelgangers episode. Like, I it know. Could be a fairy that's crazy oh i feel like i've heard of that before like fairies being able to disguise themselves as people and stuff yeah isn't it like called, illusionist like a, isn't it like a changeling or something is that yeah that changeling is? yeah oh, i was reading this one book i only got through like the first chapter because it kept switching a lot but uh-huh. the first like chapter of it was so dark it was about this changeling who came and like took over this baby's body basically and it drove the mother crazy the mother like took her own life and then Whoa. her husband, wait, what was it? No, the mother, like, killed her baby, took her own life, and then the husband drowned himself. Whoa. In the first chapter of this book. But oh it was all God. because of this changeling taking over everything. Whoa. But I'll have to find the book to give it to you because I have it, but I never finished That's crazy. it. crazy. I read the first chapter and That's then it That's like changed. La Llorona in, like, reverse. Yeah. Whoa. Ugh, but it's a really crazy book, so give it a read. I'll have to find the name of it. <laughs> but anywho, same idea here. So the doppelganger that would appear to die according to the secret commonwealth of elves. So it's a whole other story about that. And then um, after service in the fairy realm, the woman would sometimes be released to return to her family. So every once in a while they would release these women. So if the husband had remarried due to thinking the mother was dead, he had to divorce the second wife to go back to his first wife. Oh my god. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But like, he thought she was dead. He like finally got over her and he's like, eh, I can finally get married again. No. And then, oh my god, can you imagine like regressing like that? Mm-hmm. Like being like, oh, this is awkward. Also, just like literally thinking someone was dead and then they're just back. And then the excuse is about like some fairies kidnapping. Yeah, honestly, I'd wow. kind of question like... If they were, like, psychologically okay, too. Yeah. I've always wondered about stuff like that. Like, what if, like, so, if someone I loved came to me with, like, some, like, random mythical thing that happened, like, would I believe them? And I think yes. I think it would depend how, like, fairies, I don't know if I would believe it. Just because I'm, yeah. I'm kind so of a stickler. you're telling me if I got abducted and I was gone for six months and I was like, Tiffany, I got abducted by fairies, you'd laugh at me. I mean, six months, I feel like maybe I'd believe you. you believe me a little if, bit. But if it was, like, a month, I'd yeah. be like, no, you went to, like somewhere i feel like depending on how much you know a person that you mm-hmm. can tell by their body language if like you think if they're just pulling your leg yeah like i'm never able to pull a prank on you no well because <laughs> i'm like i don't believe it. you because if you were to be gone for a month i got abducted by fairies i go logan you're dumb no you did not like i wouldn't believe you but if you were legitimately missing for six months and you said you that you know if i was serious i'd be like Tiffany, yeah this is bad i'm like you haven't posted on twitter in six months you're <laughs> definitely missing you're you missing made, you haven't made any jokes on there in a yeah minute. you haven't made, posted a tiktok yet. yeah i haven't seen your bits in a while you're definitely <laughs> gone so i would definitely know after that but um so the woman's women would sometimes be returned to their family and wow. according to lore though the fairies aren't completely heartless so sometimes they got a little love in them Aww. so there's a poem called the fairy nursemaid and it tells of how they let a captured human mother return to her child at night for feeding so like sometimes they would let the parents go back to like give their kid food and i'm like oh. see they'd abduct give them, some them scraps and i know go back 
They said, okay, give your baby food, and then you're also being abducted tonight, too, so you're fine. They should just, like, pay them or something. I don't know. know. Give them, like, I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of sickening to give, like, be like, hey, if you help take care of our fairy babies, we'll give you, like, unlimited magic or, like, this thing. So, like, it'd be like a day job. Like, you're Mm -hmm. there nine to five, and you get home, and you get to still be with your family. You can be with your baby. Like, working for fairies. That'd be kind of cool. See, I don't understand, though. Why would they, like, abduct these women? Like, what's the purpose of abducting them if you're going to let them go back in the evening to feed their children? But, like, yeah. what's the purpose of having them? I don't know. Yeah. Also, what's, like, stopping them from escaping or, like, letting people know, like, what's going on? I don't know. I guess if it was a fairy world, I feel like it'd be, like, a supernatural, like, thing you couldn't escape unless the fairy You could also, like, probably you. make a ruse, like, have, like, the, how we talk mm-hmm. about the changelings and stuff. Make, yeah. make a fake, uh... Uh, mom out of it like the mom yeah. is there oh. the whole time oh Ooh, maybe it's like they have to take how. the energy or like some sort of existence of that like mom to get to themselves yeah that's weird Ooh, so that's crazy that's a whole i didn't thing. even think about that till now that wow fairies are smart fairies are kind of smart guys we imagine when it's the next episode i'm replaced by a fairy maybe you already are i start flying in this chair <laughs> <laughs> Your voice gets really high like Tinkerbell, and you're like, I'm ready. You get wings, like wings sprout out of you right now while we're doing the show. I you're feel like, like you're next. If I didn't hate fairies so much, I feel like I'd be a good Tinkerbell. <laughs> you see, I don't mind the Tinkerbell movies. I don't mind them. But, like, I don't like Tinkerbell. Yeah, you just, you just don't like that she's, like, angry. I don't like that she's angry. I like her in her movies, but I don't like her in Peter Pan. She, yeah. like, makes me irrationally angry. I just Even can't though, like, it. you would be, like, a perfect Tinkerbell I know. if you ever wanted to costume as it. Well, literally, it's the only Disney character that I could be at Disney World because I'm, it's the only height. Yeah. I'm too <laughs> short to be an actual Disney princess, so I can make a pretty stellar Tinkerbell if I Good didn't. See it. Yeah. Maybe one day. Hit me up, Disney. So, now we're going to move on to the different types of fairies and different stories related to their evil origins. So, be prepared. So, let's see if I can say th- these are some hefty name so if i mispronounce them might be so this one's called the ut birds and <laughs> these are <laughs> i know they're fairies that are believed to be the revived spirits of babies who passed during harsh Whoa. winters so like they're babies that died in the cold wow so these fairies tend to haunt anyone who hangs around the sites of their demise so misery is their mission so wow. they basically haunt the places that they probably passed away so it's creepy i know i've seen before like uh a lot of stuff like even in the tinkerbell movies they say like fairies are born from like the a baby's first laugh and stuff Mm -hmm. so i've seen like a lot of fairies come from real human like emotion or like yeah that's crazy so it's the idea that's like a spirit baby wow which is kind of interesting but it's kind of sad that like they're yeah they're mission is to like make people miserable because they died sense. so miserably it makes sense that they're like quote-unquote evil because it's like the scarcity and like harshness of a winter's mm-hmm. night like that kind of and like being like, so vulnerable yeah. yeah that's crazy oh. wow so um these fairies are even known to transform into large and terrifying owls that prey oh on night god. travelers so oh my god <laughs> imagine you're traveling through the night with like a little lantern and then you see this huge owl and it just like kills you a mothman sibling Stop it. What if Mothmen oh are just like the Utbird fairies? Like, I would have connected three other Mystery Files. Cases. I know. Guys, every mystery out there is just fairies. It's just, literally just fairies. All it's fairies. the logical answer. Possession, logical it's answer. fairies. It's changed things. <laughs> You're fine. Oh my God. <laughs> so, that's the first type of fairy. We have a bunch of them. Ooh. So, this one is called Red Caps. So, typically, like in folklore, they're illustrated as like haggard and old, and they're said to be armed with razor sharp teeth and claws, Ooh. which they use to eat humans and other fairies alike. Ooh. So, they literally just eat people. <laughs> Wait. That reminds me of the fairies from American Dragon, Jake Long. Wait, that's fun. Well, I was, I thought you were going to say American Horror Story. Oh. What if they're fairies? What if they're red cap fairies? Whoa. Instead of, like, it's very possible. We just started watching the newest season of American Horror Story. We're thinking maybe vampires. Vampire. We don't know zombie kind of hybrids but this says sharp teeth and claws wow so what if they're just red caps i will uh, well this one's called red tide <gasps> stop <gasps> it what if Whoa. and some of them are haggard and old so like maybe oh my god maybe there's fairies. a connection i would laugh honestly <laughs> that'd be, be kind such of a amazing, funny turn but i would laugh if we're like actually <laughs> right about that we'll see like ryan murphy's like you got me you got it's me fairies and aliens fairies and aliens <laughs> we'll see maybe it is that'd Match be a crazy turn heaven. 
just from this episode. <laughs> so um, their name hints at their vicious nature. So red caps mop up their target's blood with their cap after they commit a slaying. Oh so they have like hats. Oh, like their hats. Like their caps. Up. Yeah. Whoa. So they like mop up the blood with their hats oh. after they slay people. Ew. Oh, that's like. It's like gross. Well, like that's blood. Not to get into gory details, but isn't that like a lot of blood for one hat? Like they're very yeah. so they're small. Or their hats I mean, would be so gross. Yeah, like I wouldn't want to put that on top of my head afterwards. That's a lot of blood. For <laughs> We're one also little hat. talking about creatures that eat humans, so you're like, oh, a bloody hat would suck, but they yeah. eat humans. <laughs> you're forgetting they eat whole people. <laughs> And other fairies. They're literally cannibals. They would need, like, multiple hats to do it, though. Because, like, the... Bo- do you know how much blood the human body has? A lot. Wait, what if like, it's, what if it's like, those, uh... What are those rags? Like, the... Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like ShamWow. Is that sh- what it is? It's a ShamWow. <laughs> it's a ShamWow hat to mop up their blood. Mop up That's the they invented blood. ShamWows that came from fairies' caps. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Imagine, can't. like, the advertisements for it. Oh, I believe it. There would be such good bits. Fairy TV. Fairy TV. So that's the little red cap fairies. And now we are moving on to these fairies called drowning fairies or like a bean fion. That's kind of what they're called. So bean fion fairies, also known as drowning fairies, they're said to pull children to their underwater doom. So it's La Llorona. La Llorona. Whoa. Wait, double feature. Ah, Double feature. It's working. Ah. The links are coming all together. So if you're searching for a bean fion fairy, you're at advise to look around dark waters where drownings have occurred so if you see dark water it's kind of a sign Whoa. so uh these creatures were like likely devised by parents looking to keep their kids from playing in the water but that doesn't make them any less creepy so a lot of parents are like oh watch out for the fairies they'll drown uh, you uh, <laughs> you can't go swimming because you'll die Parents are mean. Parents just love scaring their children to go yeah. in their bodies of water. They said, don't be dumb. La La Rona will kill you. Yeah, can you imagine, like, your kid's going to, down to, like, the river, and they're like, don't don't go too far. La La Rona will get you. Or the water fairies. Or the water or, fairies will drown just, you. Like, or the Loch Ness Monster. They're just yeah. naming things off. They said, let's just give these kids trauma by making all these stories for oh them. Oh, my God. So, these aren't the only fairies that specialize in drowning. So, Ooh. there's ones like... um. Jenny Greentooth and the Scottish Drake. So that's another story that has like these drowning fairies. Ooh. And then uh, George Douglas in Scottish Fairy and folk tales say that Drake lore, that Drake is a type of fairy. Uh-huh. So Drake lure women into the water by showing them a golden bauble. So I don't know what, what a bauble is. It says B A U B L E. I'm going to look it up because I'm intrigued. Bauble. I've never heard that word. The mystery files I Google search. <laughs> this is bobble bar. That's not what I want, silly. Okay. Oh, it's a small showy trinket or decoration. So it's kind of oh. like something to be like, oh, look over here. Like a piece of jewelry maybe to be mm-hmm. like, ooh, like this might look good with this outfit I might wear. Yeah. I'll go down to the water for that too. I'll go. Also, it seems like it could be something that's sort of like hypnotic. It says like showing them a golden bobble. So like imagine ooh. it's like something so intriguing that you're like entranced yeah. to follow it into the water. Ooh. So they lure them in. So sometimes the women are just abducted and not drowned. Sometimes they just take them. Yeah. I'm like, what's the thing well, with killing women and taking them? Yeah, well, by like, fairies? Well, it could also be like the whole, like, um, maybe this is like fairy stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe there's like fairy rings, like, near the water. And yeah. They, like, push them into them and, like, teleport them out. Oh, that's crazy. Kind of or they have, like, underwater, like, societies. Underwater societies, yeah. That'd be crazy. Because you said earlier that, like, there's fairy societies underground. underground. So, like, maybe underground, under the water. I'm not wow. sure. Wow. So, um,. There's also Kelpie. There's a, that's a different type of fairy. Our horse-shaped fairy folk. Oh, I've heard of Kelpie. Really? Yeah, I've heard of Kelpies. Ooh, okay. So there's different Kelpies. I don't think I've learned about much of them. Yeah, they're so, like kind of seahorse kind of things, right? Ooh, I think so. There, I think there's two different types of Kelpie. There's like these ones, and there's also like sea Kelpie. Yeah. Because that's another one we'll talk about later. Ooh. But there's yeah, yeah, sea yeah. Kelpie and this type of Kelpie. So... They're a uh, horse-shaped fairy folk that lure riders onto their back and ride into a lake to drown them, like in the story, the Wistundi legend of the fairy horses. So oh, yeah, they're like, they just ride in the water and kill them. They're kind of like uh, uh, like sirens almost, mm-hmm. too, aren't they? They're like, yeah. kind of like that, like, they indulge in you. Because I've seen that before in, like, mythology, like, oh, the Kelpies Ooh. are coming, and they're, like, beautiful women, and then you realize they're kind of basically sirens. Is that, like, remember when we watched, um... 
it was one of those monster shows on Hulu. Remember when yeah. he kept that woman yes. in that tank? Yes. Was that the same idea? That's the same kind of idea. Okay, yeah. I can't 100%. think of what was the name of that show? Monster. Uh, Monsterland. Monsterland. Watch Monsterland. One of the episodes has an idea yeah. similar to this. I can't remember what episode, but Monsterland on Hulu. Really good. Highly recommend. We had recommend. a really good time with it. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good show. Remember there's multiple times you and I were trying to call the monster. We were like, it's this thing. It's this, it's this thing, thing. It's this thing. It's really it's so good fun. at keeping you guessing. So if you're interested, yeah. check it out. Not sponsored, but we wish. Shout out Hulu. <laughs> so um, in an interesting, a weird variation of the tale, the doomed writer, a Kelpie is a harbinger of drowning, though it doesn't actually participate. So there's another different type of Kelpie that's like... Hey, yeah. you can drown, but it doesn't actually drown oh. you. So there's all these different variations of these types of fairies, too. Wow. So there's that one. And now I feel like this next fairy is a very common thing, but I didn't realize it was a part of fairy lore. It's the oh. Banshee. Oh, Banshees are considered fairies? Yeah, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, no, I didn't know that either. So um, the Banshee, also known as Woman Fairy, originated in Ireland and is said to be the most active at night before a passing. So yeah. in some folklore, she even comes to the door of those who are expected to pass. So it's kind of like a bad omen. So um, she looks like a full-sized human female, and though her appearance varies by region, her hair is always stringy, and she always wears a white gown or shroud. So this literally oh. sounds like um, a little La Llorona ish or like yeah. a witch or something. Just, oh, this works perfect as a double feature then. I know. So you have like a, like a, water, a lot of water-based creatures as mm-hmm. well. That's crazy. It's perfect. So she's kind of like a bad omen. She frequently appears covered in moss as well. And the banshee is recognized by her loud morning wails. So basically... <gasps> oh my god. So basically La Llorona. Very La Llorona, which um, it's a harbinger of someone's demise. So she's the bad omen wow. of death that comes to your door and she's horrifying. <laughs> Like the Grim Reaper. Yeah, she's basically the Grim Reaper, and she sounds really horrifying. Yeah. So she's a type of fairy, and then uh, there's another story of the they're the Vericas. I might be saying that wrong. The Vericas. Yeah. They gather outside the homes of dying people while happily chattering to each other. So they're like a bunch of them and like outside homes. Like they feed off that energy. I guess so, and then. These are 18-inch tall harbingers of doom are also instantly recognizable thanks to their vivid red color color and blood-stained teeth. Ooh. So imagine like a group of like 18-inch tall like red creatures with What's like these fairies stained teeth. Blood? I know. Damn. They're creepy as heck. And then um according to folklore they can be appeased but it isn't easy. So vikras require a shrine filled with daily burned offerings of flowers and spices to leave you alone. Ooh. So Wait, I've seen that kind of stuff before, offering mm-hmm. like spices and seasonings and yeah. stuff to paranormal creatures to leave, mm-hmm. have them leave you alone. It also reminds me, I've heard that like if you step into a fairy ring or like say they're like bothering you at home, you can give them like is it maybe silver or something. Ooh, yeah, like to like make to, like, them leave you alone. Yeah. Or like, like if you do, green. you can always leave stuff in. The fairy yeah. ring, too, to appease the fairies, I guess. Yeah, I've heard that before, too. I've heard fairies are very greedy yeah. like, things. They like they like shiny want. things. Yeah, yeah. Which is they like shiny crazy. things, expensive, like mm-hmm. trinkets, things like that. They love the trinkets. Tinkerbell. Wow. Tinkerbell. Wow. She likes to tinker with those items. So, that's the Vikras. And then this one is called the Slaw, Ooh, which sounds kind of... Coleslaw. Coleslaw fairies. Coleslaw, but it's spelled like S-L-U-A-H. Ooh. A-G-H. So it's not like coleslaw, but different. <laughs> so according to the Irish folklore, the slaw are fairies thought to be souls of evil people. So they oh. have evil souls in them. Like wicked people after they pass on. Yeah. Wow. So these fairies travel in a swarm at night, often appearing like black birds. Ooh. Okay, that's so creepy. That's then. actually really cool, though, at the same time. Wow. I don't know if I've told you, but like I've talked to like family members of mine. Like I remember back in high school when I had to do like we had to do like a family tree project Uh and I learned about there's people in my family who would see these black birds and it would be like an omen of death. Like they'd see these black birds right before someone was about to die. Well, I was going to bring it up, but I wanted to wait for the right time. But like, Mm -hmm. um, you hear a lot of omens of death, uh, like with like the wailing woman. Yeah. Like, uh, like I know for me, like I've heard, like I've had family members, be like they can hear like people talking or like mm-hmm. hearing like the voice of a loved one when they haven't actually called for them and, like, yeah stuff like that and that also goes into like the changeling kind of deal mm-hmm. as well so it's just like it's kind of wild how many like evil fairies kind of have like those signs of like yeah um, 
death that are coming. And it's like, some of them, I'm like, are they even necessarily evil? They might just be like, they are omens to be like, hey, like, death is coming. You know, like, it's they're... not necessarily evil, but yeah. it's dark. Wow. But that's crazy. it's also just weird how, regardless of what type of religion or like what you believe supernaturally, like, so many people have experienced different things that, like, are a sign that death is coming or yeah. that someone's about to die. Because my I think I've told you before how my mom will have, like, dreams or, like, feelings that we should call someone or X, yeah, Y, Z. Like and then check the, in on Yeah, someone, and then the people feeling. the people die, like, the next day Whoa. after she says that. It's been a couple different people that she's like, you should call them. We haven't talked to them in a while, and the next day they pass away. That's crazy. So she has, like, this weird sense to be like, oh, yeah. we should talk to them. It's, like, weird uh, how, like, humans, like, have that type of empathy to be yeah. like, oh, wow, like, this is a thing that is happening. Yeah, like, it's a you certain know? sense. Like, people have different things. So regardless of what you believe in, like, oh, this per- this creature came to me. Like, there's always yeah. something that, it's just weird. I don't know. Wow. I was also going to say, like, do you think, like, since you said, like, the blackbirds, like, are, like, signs of death and they can, like, hide as fairies? Yeah. Do you think that's where, like, the whole, like, black crow meaning death could come from as well? I definitely think so. It like, would make a lot of sense. Black crows are black birds. Like, yeah. Wow. It's just weird because I remember this specific story. It's why I was talking about my family. There was, like, some great aunt that I had that she told this story about there were these black birds in her house that she was trying to get them out with the broom. Whoa. And apparently, like, a day later, someone died in the family or something. And the black birds Whoa. were, like, a sign of, like, oh, there's death, home slice. So That's, maybe it was, like, there's a There's death, home slice. There's death, home slice. <laughs> but it could be exactly this like Irish folklore, the sloth Whoa. fairies that are the black birds. So That's you never crazy. know. So these birds, uh, their preferred prey are dying people who have yet to be given their last rites. So people who are, like, just dying out of nowhere. Wow. So some stories, however, say that you can call them by feeling deep sadness or simply saying their name. I said their name. I said it so many times. You gotta apologize. I take it back. I apologize to the... (laughs) To the... I have to say it again. It's in the sentence. What's the... Have you in their sights? The only way to get rid of them is to offer another person in your place. Better not be offering me on this hey, podcast hey, right swaz. now. Absolutely take, not. Take. No. <laughs> they know what I said. But they're easy to spot. So in the human humanoid form, the sloths look like malnourished people with leathery wings. Oh. That's so gross. Wait. You know what that sounds like? Um, Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. Does it not sound like Jeepers Creepers? Not to go back to it, but you know what that also sounds like? The okay. American Horror Story season right now. Yes. Like the leathery like people. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. They're fairies. Right. That, They're fairies. Confirmed. We're calling it. We're calling. They're fairies, guys. If, 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 if it's revealed to be fairies this season then of American Horror it. Story, we called it. We called it. And you're welcome. <laughs> So, um, we're going to go into Kelpies a little more because there's more Kelpie stories. Love me a good Kelpie. Love a good Kelpie. So, fairies aren't just menaces to human. They can also be a threat to their own kind, too. Consider Kelpies a kind of human-eating fae, so fairy, mm. a small, ugly, and bulbous. That's, <laughs> That's so mean. The word bulbous. Like a blobfish? Yeah, they said bulbous. Blobfish or fairies? Blobfish. Confirmed. Reminds me of Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> in whatever that show was. So, um... Kelpies are also known for their foul tempers. There's angry little beans. They were once said to crop up everywhere in Scottish lochs in the North Sea, but fell into to decline thanks to their appetite for other fairies. Yeah, Kelpies oh. are a big, like, Scottish lore, like, mm-hmm. folklore type of thing, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh, my God. So, uh, Kelpies don't discriminate when it comes to slaying. They love to eat deer that wander. This literally sounds like American Horror Story. Oh, my God. The season right now. So, they love to eat deer that wander too near to the locks, and they are able to shapeshift to lure into human prey. Wait. That's so creepy. Wait. No, that's also interesting because, like, uh, it's on the shore of Provincetown, too, and, yeah. like, in the water. And they found them in the water. <gasps> Stop it. Logan, we're literally just giving away the entire idea. Oh, my God. Idea. I love it. Watch the if new season, guys. If it's not there, I'm going to be disappointed now. I know. Well, it oh sounds God, so much crazy. like it. It's so creepy. Whoa. So they lure in human prey. Um, there are often folk tales about Kelpies who take the appearance of seahorses luring young maidens into the sea to submerge and devour. So, Kelpies, home slice. I also, like, I just wanted to say real quick at the same time, <laughs> like I said, like, they don't discriminate when they slay. Like, yes, slay yes, Kelpies. Slay Kelpies. <laughs> girl boss. They don't discriminate. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss Kelpies. 
that's not <laughs> that should be a t-shirt we still have to make like merch for the mystery files that has all of our stupid phrases on it we call it like uh we could call it a k g g g is that three g's wait k g g g it's like kelpie's girl boss gatekeep gaslight wait but why would that be so cute in like a pair of like sweatpants or like down the side of a sleeve oh, of a shirt we have kelpie's on like sweatpants <laughs> Have you ever seen, like, Kelpies be, like, manatees kind of thing? I've seen that on television no. where they're, like, kind of, like, they look like manatees almost. We have, Cute. like, a manatee sweatpants line. <laughs> <laughs> they go, what's this? They don't know what it actually is. They're just like, it's oh so cute. God. It's literally evil Kelpies. <laughs> And then um, there's another type of fairy called the Berberoka, and this is actually oh, wow. a Filipino folklore. Oh. So I like that there's so many different images of fairies yeah. across the world. Like, that's so fun. That's awesome. So this one is called Berberoka, and they're highly dangerous fairies that inhabit rivers and swamps. Wow. They are said to prey upon fishermen by ingesting large volumes of water, thereby bringing up fish. So once oh. the fishers... <gasps> I know... The show, the show, okay, literally. Okay, okay, keep going, keep going. Ah! So, they are said to prey upon fishermen by ingesting large volumes of water, bringing up the fish. Then once the fishers make their way to that specific spot, the Berberoka regurgitates the water to capsize their boats. Ultimately, the helpless fishers are dragged underwater and eaten. That sucks for them, but that's also so smart of the fairies. Yeah. At the same time, like, that is a like a wild way to bait someone yeah it's intelligent oh honestly they said oh my god look at all those fish that's <sighs> crazy wow well like that's crazy too because um getting a lot of fish on a boat is supposed to be a sign of good luck mm -hmm. when in reality it could be like your demise that's crazy well because fairies are tricky little things Whoa. like they just want to like mess with you and eat you wow that's that's crazy wow like, i like that's these that is like the smartest fairy I've seen out of all of these I know. so far. Maybe that is we're going to identify fairy. with the Berberoka by the end of this. A lot of them are like, oh, we're going to show you little golden cute trinkets. And then yeah. it's like, no, nah, we're just going to give a bunch of fish to fishermen. <laughs> we know what you want, but you're not the getting it. The golden fishermen, you cut. You are done. You are done. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> all righty. Uh, the next one is called the Bendith. It's a, can a clan of Welsh fairies. Ooh. And they're notorious baby nappers, so they steal babies. The uh, labyrinth. A labyrinth. What are the labyrinths? So they nab human babies and replace them with their own deformed offspring. And these are crimbles. Some people call them changelings. They're called crimbles. Oh, that's um, a fun name for them. I know. It's like a camel. I know a crimble when I see one. I know a crimble. So sometimes the Bendith will return the baby after teaching it about music. How cute is that? Aww. Oh, it's probably gonna get dark. I'm I'm getting too excited here. That's why you make them like nice and talented. Like, I hey, know. like that's how all music majors are made. They get Stop. kidnapped. Benjamin got kidnapped when he was a baby. Yeah. Yep. That perfect. Makes sense. It's perfect. So more often than not, parents require the ass require the assistance of a witch to get their child back. So when they aren't taking children, the Bendith get their kicks riding horses and tangling up their manes. Oh my god. So these witches, witches, these. They do a lot. They don't sound that crazy. Like they're stealing babies, but like sometimes they return them. It like varies. It's like on the back, like they leave yeah. a note that's like may return. May return. Can you imagine the fairies like steal a baby <laughs> from like the crib and the mom goes up to it and there's like a post it note that's like I owe you. <laughs> I owe you. I gave your baby back. But also it's weird that like when they aren't stealing babies, they're just like, ah, we're just gonna mess with them with horses. Which we'll just like tangle what, up their little what, manes. Wh why? <laughs> <laughs> that's so mean. People have to brush through that and oh it's just a whole God. mess. But that's like kind of just like fun. Yeah. Just messing with some mains. But those are kind of harmless because they're not eating the children or nothing. Yeah. So the next one is called the Fatchin. We'll say Fatchin. So a threatening but solitary creature, the Fatchin Fairy, lives in the Highland Mountains. So do we got them in PA? We'll see. So Ooh. the Fatchin's brooding nature is due to its appearance as it has only one of everything. One ear, one arm, one leg, one toe, one eye. All of these features are centered directly down the middle of its body. Ugh, that's so gross imagining oh. imagine like all of the features one by one mm -hmm. down your entire body so it has both hair and feathers oh my god so it's just kind of really crazy oh, looking that'd be so weird to like pet or like touch <laughs> why would oh you want to pet it it'd be so gross but um these creatures are said to be hideous that the mere sight of them can stop a person's heart oh i see I... them and i'm like oh you're so cute i pet them and then i like my heart stops <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> Just by looking at it. Oh my um, god. The Fatchin is sensitive about not having wings or the gift of flight, so it waves a spiked club at all living things uh, across its path. What the heck? 
as if like a heart attack by just the sight of it wasn't bad enough. They're like, ah, I'm gonna hit people with a spike club. I don't want to cross any of these fairies. Any of them could like <laughs> take me in a fight so quickly. Oh, they can take me. Try. Oh it. yeah, they they beat me to the ground. <laughs> oh god. That's so crazy. Oh my god. This one's like just mean. It said, uh, I'm going to, like, kill you if you look at me, but also if that doesn't work, I'm going to hit you with a club. Yeah, like, I, just, <laughs> just for extra measure, if your heart doesn't stop, yeah. I'm going to beat you with a club. And it's just because it's bitter that it doesn't have wings or, and it can't fly. I'd be bitter, too, if As I if couldn't fly. As if that's my fault, just because I'm living. I don't have wings, either. Being a fairy and being like, ha, huh, you can't fly. <laughs> you look dumb. You have to take the fairy public transit. <laughs> you uh-huh. dummy. Poor guy. I kind of feel bad for him. The fashion. <laughs> what a guy. So that's that one. And then the next one is called The Willow the Wisps. So that's like a Ooh. fun name. It's very fancy. So they're mischievous. The Willow the Wisps haunt marshy ground and love playing practical jokes. So this is like a practical jokers, but fairies. Yeah, practical jokers, but make it fairies. I'd watch fairy TV. Fairy TV. I fairy hope TV. It, it's like a bunch of cues from practical jokers because cue is my favorite. I'm practical oh. joker. I'm a I was just going to say, you look like you'd be a Sal guy. I love Sal. But people, That's my boy. if Murr is someone's favorite, I don't trust them. Not that I don't oh. like Murr, yeah. but like, why Murr? But Sal's so cute. But Q is just a goofy guy. Yeah, they're definitely fairies. Definitely fairies. If, if we're ever on the show and we see them, I'm going to be like, are you guys <laughs> fairies? And then we prank them right back. That'd be kind of hilarious. What if they are fairies? They're all different kinds. Or they're all just the will of the wisps. You caught us. And they pull out a club. I'm like, okay. <laughs> said, all right, all right. <laughs> so, um, however, um, their jokes consist of leading travelers astray with their flickering lights, sometimes leading people straight to their doom in the bog. So sometimes they'll just Ooh. lead them to a really dangerous place in the bog. Um, it is believed that steering clear of will o the wisp paths is the best way to avoid them, although they are known to sometimes help people who are kind to them and offer them money. Wow. Aww, so hey. they can be kind, but they're just like hey. the best of people. So they're like kind of evil, but also not really. They're just chaotic yeah. neutrals. They said, ooh, we might like lead you to die, but we could also like be nice to you if you're you nice to us. You can make you a millionaire if you, if you really want. Yeah, but it's weird they have human money. You must just, like, yeah. steal it. What if it's, like, fairy currency and they give you it and it's, like, this is worthless. It's worthless here. can't do anything Or they have this. a bunch of random coins. They're, like, here's this coin from 1926. You're up. That'd be great for a coin collector. They'd it like, was. This is amazing. This is perfect. They're, like, we found it in the ancient times. <laughs> so our next one is just specifically the sea kelpies. Oh. So these are, like, the different ones. So they're also known as the blue men of the minch or sea kelpies. They prey on sailors. So they sport green beards and hair that are pretty, they're pretty buff guys. So oh, they're pretty big like ones. Kelpies. Oh, okay. They're like sea kelpies. So some say that these creatures live in caves underwater and that they control the weather in the seas. So these, this is basically an underwater civilization of fairies. Yeah. So we're on something. Wow. So if you ever plan on sailing the high seas, make sure you have what it takes to defeat the sea kelpies. According to folklore, captains have escaped disaster on the water simply with their sharp tongues. However, the blue men of the Minch can only be beaten in rhyming duels. So you have to have a rhyming you duel. You have to rap battle ba- with some sea kelpies? They're going to win. That's not, Yeah, they probably practice down there and like, we're going we're gonna to dunk on these losers. Yeah, like their entire life is training to beat people in a rhyming duel, Yeah, basically. so you're really gonna be like an amazing rapper. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. I would love to watch a sea <laughs> kelpie versus human, like, rap battle. Why does it... It's like it, epic rap battle. I was YouTube just gonna guy. say, ah! I was just gonna say it reminds me of, like, 2008 rap battles on yes. YouTube. It's like sea kelpie versus the Gordon Fisherman. The Gordon Fisherman. Captain Hook versus Captain, the sea kelpies. Who will win? Peter Pan sea referees. Stop. Oh, that's so the cute. Tinkerbell's there. Tinkerbell's oh my there. god. It all leads back evil. to one another. Wow, but she's evil. So then the next that's one amazing. is called the Marrow. This one's Ooh. really kind of dark. So there's a story called Soul Cages that's collected in uh, Yeats Fairy and Folk Tales of the Irish Peasantry. So that's a story. An otherwise sociable and friendly marrow. So it's a type of merman who collects the souls of drowned sailors. So oh. this is basically a merman that just collects souls of the Great. sailors. So it's, like, really creepy. So the marrow places lobster pots at the bottom oh. of the ocean, and the confused, cold souls of the dying sailors seek refuge in them. I'm like, why would a soul seek refuge in that, though? Like, kind of like Davy Jones' locker, almost, though. Basically. Like, kind of like this uh, abandoned ship with the lost souls. That makes sense. 
they said, this looks homey. So uh, the pots are collected and put on the Marrow's curiosity shelf. But other than the Marrow, it was an all right and friendly fairy. So it's friendly, but it steals Whoa. souls. But well, I'm like, how, how nice it's would It's nice, be? but also your soul will be lost forever. But also, I guess if it's a soul, like what good is it doing anyway? Whoa. Like you just kind of imagine having a little shelf of souls collected in your house as this a is, guy. This is like random. This is, like, mm-hmm. a weird, like, thing to come in reference. But uh, there's this show I watched on Netflix. It's a cartoon show. It's called Centaur World. Okay. It's it's bonkers. It's crazy. <laughs> and they do an episode where there's, like, this whale creature Ooh. who, like, her whole thing is that she, like, has this, like, super happy, like, go-lucky attitude. And it's, like, she takes sad souls and, like, takes them. She, like, Ooh. eats them whole. And it's like, it's okay, I'll consume your sadness. And oh, consuming and your just sadness consumes the entire them. soul. Yeah, that's what that kind of sounds like. That's a kid's TV show? It's a kid's TV show. Ooh. Yeah, Centaur World's insane. I love cartoons, but that show is, it, it's really good, but it's mm-hmm. just, it is off the wall. I'm always so surprised by, like, certain things I can get away with in kids' television sometimes. Well, that's probably why you and I are, like, the way we are. Yeah. Because of, like, what we grew up watching. <laughs> exactly. Honestly. It makes a huge influence. Yeah. And then, like, you still want to watch that stuff. Because you're like, I yeah. find comfort in these horror movies because Absolutely. they were great when I was young. That's just what it sounds like to me. Just, like, that, like, attitude. Like, it's okay. I'll take your sadness. Or, like, yeah. oh, well, you can trust me. I'm a nice spirit. And then your soul's lost. Literally. Like, forever. I don't know why I just thought of this, but it literally is the same idea of the Little Mermaid, Ursula. Oh my God! Yeah, stealing the souls, oh, wow. and she's a mermaid, and this is a merman. Wow! So what if she's so many just ties a marrow? With fairies. Yeah, that's crazy. I just can't believe they're so like versatile. Like literally, yeah. a fairy in the shape of a merman, but wow. it's a fairy called a marrow. Wow, that's crazy. Everything is fairies. We're Every, fairies right now. Literally everything is. Fairies. Everyone listening. It right all ties now. back. He's a fairy. The thing is, I'm still at the point that I'm like, I want to believe them, but I don't want to believe them. Yeah. You know? Like, they're just weird enough. Yeah. But that's the story of the marrow. And then let's try to pick a really fun one here. We've got, let's see if I can say this right. They're called the Hudo Folk. They Ooh. are Icelandic fairies. Come on, Icelandic. Icelandic fairies that are somewhat neutral, so they're more of a neutral evil. They're not too bad. So some people believe them to be beneficial, and they build tiny wooden homes for the fairies to live in. So they're just oh, little builder guys. They're little architects. They're little architects. So they aren't typically malicious, but they do have a strict moral code. They are human-like creatures, also known to attempt to seduce people. So those who resist are rewarded, while anyone who surrenders is punished. So, like, uh, they're still kind of dark, but they're more like... They want I'm gonna compensation for the houses. Yeah, so basically <laughs> the only way they're a threat is if, like, you surrender to them. Can you imagine being an architect, like a real-life one, and you're just, like, building a house, and the people are like, thanks, but I didn't ask for this, and then you get angry. Yeah, literally. You're like, I'll eat your soul. <laughs> Basically, like, it's imagining an architect, and it's, like, their side job is seducing people. I used to want to be an architect. That's what I would do. Just you build would? random houses for people, and like, no, that's really okay. And I'm like, no, you're getting a house. You're gonna like it, and if you don't, I'll kill you. You're gonna like this skyscraper I'm building in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere, made out of wood. You're welcome. <laughs> so basically, these guys are bad, but, like, they're not as bad. It's, like, eating yeah. kids and stuff. Chaotic like, neutral. Chaotic neutral. Not great, but not bad, you know? <laughs> so this one's going to be hard to say. It's the Calacansary fairies. Oh. I did it. I did it. So these ones are always without clothes for some reason. So while they might make you uncomfortable, the creep factor comes in with their feet. So they're usually shaped like different animal feet. Um, these fairies tend to ride around on chickens and they're blind. Uh, so they're typically found oh in God. groups. So it's just like chaotic, like strangeness. I'm like worried about myself because I can vividly imagine them. Yeah. Like I can fully see like, <laughs> a, like a fairy riding on a chicken with their eyes like gone. Yeah. And like weird I can feet. see it. Like it's just weird. And then sometimes they recruit outcast fairies to be their guides. Like biker gangs? Yeah, they're just fairies. Literally, they're gangs. But they don't seem like they do anything bad. They're just creepy. They just run around on chickens all day. Yeah, they're just like creepy fairies that just like make people uncomfortable because they're weird. So they just kind of ride around doing their creepy thing. (laughs) So next we have, they're called brownies. They're typically guardian guardian fairies who do chores and help around the house. So, like, great start. They're just kind of doing their thing. Yeah. So they may sound sweet and endearing, but folklore says they are hideous to look at. Oh. So and so, That's so rude. I know. They they're said, like, they're nice, but they're ugly. They're ugly. That's so judgmental. Like, come on now. 
but in some regions of Scotland, they have no separated toes or fingers. In oh. other areas, they have a hole in their face where their nose should be. They're just little it's Voldemort. Like Voldemort. They're literally yeah. like Voldemort. Voldemort babies. with like webbed feet. Yeah. Okay. Well, leave them be. They're baby okay. babies. Maybe Voldemort's people's style. You don't know. Yeah. You know, maybe if you're into that, you're into that. You're into that. <laughs> like, let people like what they like. But do you have to be a jerk about it? <laughs> Come on now. That's just so rude to be like, yeah, yeah, th- these are great <laughs> people, but they're ugly. They're ugly, and that's all that's wrong with them. <laughs> they, these ones aren't even killing people, but they're like, yeah, they suck. Because oh they're ugly. Oh, my God. They're literally helping people with chores, being the sweetest things. People are just mean. Wow. So... That's our fairies. That's the story. Wow. That's all the stories. So is there like one that you identify with the most that you oh, like, like the most? Oh, we have to tag ourselves. Tag yourself. Oh, yeah. Um, ooh. You don't have to remember the name of it. Remember what they did because there's yeah. a lot of names. Um, so I, I'll pick two. Mm-hmm. I'll pick like my favorite like type of story and yeah. then I'll do like who I think I'd be like I'd like to be a part of. Yeah. Um, my favorite one was the fairies that, uh, draw people to the water and then yeah. they just kind of disappear mm-hmm. that one is kind of like really creepy yeah and kind of like ties back to the la la rona thing which i mm-hmm. think is really fun you're like i love a tie back um and i know we just talked about it but i really like the biker gang chicken one yeah. i would love <laughs> that like you just ride around on chickens all day and kind of hang beautiful. out mm-hmm. and then you get other you recruit other people to be a part of your gang that's <laughs> kind of really fun a mm-hmm. biker gang of fairies it's That's good what I stuff. want. That sounds like it was an onward. It was onward. an onward. They had a yes. biker gang of. Uh... That's what I would want. <laughs> it also kind of reminds me of like SpongeBob, like a SpongeBob yeah. movie. Then they have like a oh whole gang. Oh my god! In there. Yeah, they did. It's the same sitch. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm trying to think of mine. I feel like mine would be. I'm trying to think of the favorite and the one I'd like to be a part of. It might honestly be the same thing. I feel like it'd be the yeah. one that like traps the souls underwater. Yeah. Just yeah, because yeah. I feel like I can visualize yeah. it the most, and also it reminds me of like. Uh, Little Mermaid. So yeah. I'm like, I can relate to that. Oh, you and I will be a part of a chicken fairy game. It'll together. be so cute. Also, I like the fisherman one. Yeah, I like how just crazy and thought out that is. Yeah, like the uh the one from the Philippines, right? The Filipino I one. Think so. Yeah, I think yeah, that's the that one. one was really cool. Yeah. Also, like I do have to shout out the kelpies because we talked about like five yeah. different origins of them. I didn't realize like how um how many kelpies there really were mm-hmm. and what they did. I didn't realize how many different folklore things are associated with fairies. Like, you think, like, the banshee and, like, all the different things all tie into, like, different elements of folklore that I had no idea about. So Yeah. yeah. crazy. So, yeah. In conclusion, just because fairies are mythological doesn't mean that they're less frightening. Just remember to shut your windows tight before going to sleep tonight. Remember that fairies are also known to have a bit of a dark side and are believed by some to exist today, but we'll never know for certain unless we come face to face with one. So until then, the existence of fairies will remain a a mystery. mystery. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was our season finale of the Summer Tapes. We love you the most, guys. Yes, and we'll be back for but honestly like yeah. probably a week from this episode we'll be, we'll back. be back with uh Our season four three four, four? three what we'll, we'll, be we'll figure it out <laughs> it's okay we will see you for the next season we'll we're see so for the excited next season of the mystery files yeah thank you guys we love you the most and we'll see you next time bye, bye.